Problem of the day number 11. What if they give you just the graph of a function and they ask you to write the equation for the graph? Okay, so first thing that you want to do is identify what type of graph does it look more similar to, right? So because this one doesn't have any symmetries, this one is most similar to the square root function. And so we know that our equation is going to have a square root of some kind. What we don't know is what the a, the h, and the k are yet, okay? And remember, this um, point right here is our h comma k, our, what we can consider our vertex, okay? So what we want to do is identify the vertex first. So this coordinate right here is 2 comma 3, which tells us that our h is going to be 2 and our k is going to be 3. What we don't know is what the a is. Okay, so what I would do is I would first plug in whatever you can into the equation. So we have that f of x, we know that it's a square root, so and we don't know what a is yet, so we'll leave it as a. And we have a square root of x minus 2 plus 3. Okay, now to find what the value of a is, I recommend plugging in any other point on the graph, just not the vertex, right? So you can plug in this point here, this 6 comma 1, or you can plug in this point here, this 11 comma 0, or any other point that you find. They're all fine, okay? Just pick another point. So I'm going to pick 6 comma 1. So 6 is the x value, um, 1 is the y value. So I'm going to replace the x with the 6 and the y with the 1. And I'm going to do everything in order to solve for the a. Okay, so everything else stays the same and I'm solving for a. So in order to get a alone, I would subtract 3 on both sides. So 1 minus 3 gives us a negative 2a, and then 6 minus 2 inside the square root is 4, and then I guess I might as well do that right now, so square root of 4 is just 2. So that tells us that we have 2a equals negative 2. And in order to solve for a, we would divide both sides by 2, so that tells us that a is equal to negative 1. Okay? And so now we have our a, our h, and our k, and we can put them all together into our square root equation. So we have f of x equals a negative 1. You can either write negative 1 or just a negative because writing a 1 won't really matter. Um, square root of x minus 2 plus 3. So our a is negative 1, our h is positive 2, and our k is positive 3. And this would be our final answer.